Kat Clark was just 16 when she fell pregnant to her high school boyfriend. On my 17th birthday, I gave birth to my beautiful daughter and my mum was so angry at me. She's really religious, so our relationship fell apart. Moving to remote Thursday Island in Cape York, Kat says she suffered constant abuse from her ex-partner. I lost myself, I hated myself, I forgot who I was, so I really felt alone. The pair moved to Cairns and it was there that Kat began saving a dollar a day, eventually buying herself a burner phone so she could begin to plot her escape. Escaping him was the best thing I ever did for me and my girl. Free at last, Kat set about planning a new life for herself and almost 20 years later, she has a new husband, an extra daughter and one hell of a following online. With 4 million followers, Kat was last year's TikTok creator of the year and she also scored herself an actor. It's an Actor Audience Choice Award for Best Digital Creator, which means you guys wanted me to have this. And she's using her platform to help other women dealing with domestic violence. I did not deserve what happened to me and nobody deserves to be hurt by someone that they love. Would you please welcome Kat Clark, everybody. Uh, now, Kat, we've just had a taste of your, your story there. Um, when you kind of watch that back and, you know, how do you reflect on that journey? I honestly am in shock um, and I feel really proud of myself as well. I don't know if you guys can remember when you were 16 or 17, <laughs> um, but I was, you know, a child raising a child. And on top of that, I was going through a really abusive relationship and I feel like I've done a good job and, you know, about to go on national tour with my daughter. So, so much has changed. Well, you've been very open about your journey and in telling your story on different platforms and sharing, I guess, those stories so you can help support other women who might be going through abuse. How do you cope, though, with that feedback, that contact? Because that in itself is really quite heavy. Yeah, it is hard um, and sometimes I get really emotional, but I also like hearing from them, you know, six months down the track or 12 months down the track and they've now left that toxic relationship and their lives have, have changed. So it is tough initially hearing that and giving my advice to those people that do reach out, but there's also a positive to it as well. It's an amazing story. And when I think about you becoming a mum at 16, I became a mum at 38 and I wasn't mature enough. So you must have been just amazing to get through that. What would you Thank say to you. your 16-year-old self? Yeah. You've done an amazing job and you're very strong and to keep fighting. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Kat, um, you quit your day job to become a TikToker. To, uh, now I sound like my mother. To become a TikToker. Um, <laughs> yes, you know, the computer and the internet. Um, you used to work 12 to 13 hour days. Yep. I imagine you've probably still got pretty crazy days now. Yep. But do you have any advice to people, say, who have like nephews who aspire to be professional TikTokers despite <laughs> advice from their parents? <laughs> Just to hit the record button and be yourself. So a lot of people think they've got to be skilled at, you know, how to edit videos and all that sort of stuff. But all I really do is hit record, start talking and I post. So I'm just being myself and, you know, not trying too hard. What kind of led you to picking up the phone that first time and posting on TikTok? What was it? What was the moment that you thought this could be good? It was actually my daughter. So... By that stage, I had opened my clean eating cafe and I was creating all these healthy recipes and working online more. And so I was going to the beach to work and going to cafes. And my daughter said, you should actually start vlogging your life because it's kind of interesting. And I was like, really? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty great that any <laughs> daughter would say that their mother's life is interesting, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, we've got a pretty um, close relationship and I just took on her advice and went for it. Mm. Both your girls feature quite heavily in your videos. Um, how do they handle that notoriety? And have you hit the point yet where they say things like my daughter says, like, you didn't ask for my permission <laughs> to post that? Uh, my girls were born for it. So <laughs> I don't know what it is, especially Deja. She has main character energy. They just love it. They love meeting our fans. They love getting photos with everyone. They're born natural. So, yeah, they thrive. 
Wow. Uh, well, Kat Clark and her daughter Letitia are hitting all the major cities with their basically besties podcast tour. It's so good. Check out our website for all the details. Kat, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs>